what it will look like and what sectors would there be additional and new and exciting opportunities for investment and trade with this FTA 3.0? It certainly uh, will go into all kinds of areas that uh, were not traditionally there. Of course, hopefully we we'll, should be working together more on e-commerce, for example. That's uh, the kind of area we should be looking at because the digital economy is growing. Uh, I'm sure for China or certainly for ASEAN, uh, at the moment, we are, we are working together among us in member states, 10 member states, to negotiate the digital economy framework agreement. We expect to conclude this by before the next year. So again, I think digital economy uh, is, is important. We have to look at all other new areas, including uh, the green, the blue economy sector. This is also growing. Uh, we certainly have to look at what more could be done, particularly in the agriculture sector. We hope China will continue to import more uh, from ASEAN. Uh, at the same time, uh, it's not just one way. In terms of agriculture, even Malaysia, for example, one of our member states has been importing uh, agricultural chicken uh, from China also. So it's, it's all way about mutual interest, how we can work to get, take advantage of the competitive advantage that we have between ASEAN and China. Uh, the upgrade of Ballot FTA to 3.0 will make it uh, more relevant, uh, future fit for the business for the businesses on both sides, and that will again will help to facilitate uh, facilitate trade even more, reduce more trade barriers between both sides, and of course modernize the way we do business between ASEAN and China.